Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video. Today, this one is a bit of a special one. It is a bit of a follow-up on several videos that I made with regard to the Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers. Now, there seems to be a bit of controversy as a result of those videos, and so I'm going to clarify what I wanted to say and why I still think they are some of the best thralls that you can get in the game. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. So, with all that out of the way, uh, now I made several videos showcasing the uh, Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers and why I thought they were the best. Now, this is just a bit of a follow-up and a bit of a clarification as to why I think they are some of the best thralls that you can get. So, first things first, as you've probably seen in those videos, they have a ton of HP, which to me, it is a big deal because if you're going to go around exploring the map, you might bump into things that you don't want to. And so, because it has a ton of HP, you can equip it with really good armor and use it as a tank. So, obviously, what is a tank? Now, I realize that a lot of people do not know or may not know what a tank is by definition. For those that haven't played any RPG style games, a tank is usually defined by its ability to have a lot of HP and, obviously, its ability to take in a lot or absorb a lot of damage. So that is what you can use these guys for, particularly the fighters. You'll want to use them as tanks on your travels. Basically, if you get into trouble, you let the Thrall deal with the damage and you help it take it down. Take down the um, the enemy that you're bumping into. You can, and as I've shown, take out the dragon bosses. If you can do that with one of those Thralls, then you can pretty much do any boss in the game. Another reason they are good thralls they are tier three thralls not tier four they're not named thralls which are difficult to obtain as most tier four named thralls share spawn points with other thralls that you can get in the game making them harder to get okay so this is quite important here they're just tier three thralls furthermore they actually have more hp than most tier 4 thralls. Now there is a bit of a difference between the tier 3 and tier 4 thrall in that the tier 4 uh, thralls will do more damage. But equally, if they do more damage, you don't really want a glass cannon protecting you. So, you know, that's where I'm coming from. Also, very important here, these guys are ridiculously easy to get and you are guaranteed to get one. There are a total of 5 spawn locations which, of course, will always spawn these creatures in. So, if you go to any of these five spawn points, which I'll show in this video again, of course, uh, you're guaranteed to find one of these thralls. And also, very important here, they do come in two forms. They come in as a fighter, which you'll want to use as a fighter if you do get that, and as archers, which you can also use them as archers. So basically, if it's an archer, assign it as an archer. If it's a fighter, set it up as a fighter. Obviously, you'll want to put heavy armor on both of them, just so that they have that increased survivability. Okay, so going from what I just said now, uh, yes, there are thralls, that are far more superior than these. There are named thralls, there's the Berserker, there's the Captain. However, for the Berserker, the chances of getting one of these guys is, well, quite low, especially if you are on a populated server. And of course, I will show the spawn locations for some of these thralls anyways in this video, as a part of this video, just to mix things up. But because only one spawns, or a very few spawn, they are very difficult to get. You will probably be camping at the spawn location with other people who want this, which is going to increase the uh, chances of you probably not getting one. Whereas with the Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers, you'll get one every time you go there because they'll normally spawn in threes and fours. 
Also, with the named thralls, these guys are ridiculously hard to get. Firstly, you have to go into the volcano, which means you have to be prepared. You can't take a thrall with you because if a thrall touches the lava, it will instantly die and you will lose everything that that thrall had, especially if it died in the lava. I know this because I tested it out and I've been trying to get a named thrall out of the volcano for about a week on and off not been very successful there so that goes to show you how difficult it is to get one of these guys from the volcano and bear in mind i am on my own private server with me and a friend playing currently on that server so there isn't a lot of competition for these thralls that i want to get from the volcano and even so on and off bear in mind that i have work to go to I've still not managed to get my hands on one. So with that said, what I had in mind in terms of naming them the best thralls to get were ease of obtaining the chances of survivability. Do bear in mind that I play on a private server, so lag isn't always an issue. But on the official servers or more populated servers, lag may become a problem. So one of the ways of combating that in my mind would be to have a Thrall with a lot of HP just to be on the safe side. So over here I've got several Thralls. As you can see we've got pretty much everything here that people have been commenting about saying that is better than what I'm shown. And I'm not disputing that they are better or what, you know, that's they're good at what they do. So first off over here is the Sumerian Berserker. Now he has 5000 HP, he comes with a decent amount of HP and a very good sword. However, this guy isn't as common as people think and getting them to spawn can be a bit of a challenge, especially if you have competition over here. We have the Captain. Now this is the thrall that is better than the ones I'm gonna show you, which is the Relic Hunter Seekers. Uh, he does have more HP, but there's only one of them that will spawn at any given time in a specific location, which of course I will cover later on in the video whereas the relic hunter treasure seekers will spawn in groups of threes to four obviously you'll have to go through a mini boss to get them and look at this guys this is an archer he comes with or she comes with over 6000 hp and has a decent bow and sword over here we have the uh normal npcs that you can find in the volcano so they have a lot of hp as well but they also come with a decent weapon now obviously you can go for these if you want. As you can see, the weapons on them are quite decent. However, because the volcano is in a dangerous area and you need to prepare for it, I am not really going to count on these guys because I want to show thralls that everyone can obtain. Over here, we have some named thralls. This one is a archer that you can find in the volcano. Spinus the Marauder, another named thrall, which as you can see has a ton of HP. And the Duchess, the Sharp, which again, a named thrall. All of these can be found in the volcano. The chances of getting one of these guys to spawn is very small as they share spawn points with all of the other NPCs. So do bear that in mind. I've been trying to get one of these guys out of the volcano for about a week now. Not been successful there. So just keep that in mind, which is why I'm not going to include these guys in this list. So this is the volcano, I'll have to travel around, they do spawn in different locations, it is a dangerous place, you need to be prepared to deal with the heat, you need to fight uh, high level creatures, so there's a lot of preparation involved, preferably need to be level 60 to go into the area, or close to level 60. So for that reason I'm not going to count these guys in as the best thralls, because you need to get to a certain level. Uh, same thing with the normal uh, tier 3 thralls from the volcano, just for that particular reason. Uh, so, going back to the others over here, we've got the thralls that you can obtain from the volcano, as I said. So, for the same reason as before, I'm not counting these guys. I am not even going to count the uh, Sumerian Berserker because he's quite difficult to get. Uh, he is a, I suppose, common uh, thrall to some extent. It's just that I've not seen one yet. And I've been to this place in two, three uh, separate trips. Not found one yet. So if you're going to compete with other players for them, which, you know, a lot of people know about this particular thrall, the chances of getting one of these are pretty much slim. And you'll have to do a lot of farming and waiting and patience. Again, it's, a, it's in a difficult area to get to anyways. You need to be of a decent level for the Sumerian Berserker. He's difficult to take down. So that has its own challenges. Uh equally so that leaves us with these three over here now obviously you've got the archer 
from the treasure seeker you've got the fighter and you've got the captain so captain is definitely one that i recommend he is a guaranteed spawn only one of them will spawn at any given time and you'll have to obviously take them down as you can see and it does come both in male and female genders just so that you know however once again everybody does know about the captain uh, or a lot of people do know about the captain and where and how to find them so getting one of these can be difficult if i was on a server that was heavily populated i'd probably build a base next to sepamaru so i could tame these guys every time i was on so you have to bear in mind that there's only one of these captains that will spawn at any time there's a 30 minute time uh, timer for the respawn for a captain making it a bit more difficult and challenging to get definitely obtainable and probably easier to get than the other thralls that i showed but it is still going to take some time to get one depending on how populated the server is that you are on whereas the relic hunter treasure seekers are very 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 common they have a lot of hp so you can use them as a tank set up some nice armor on them and a good super weapon on them and then they are pretty much ready to go and you can get these guys at an early level so that is why i still think these are the best thralls i'm just looking at the practical side of getting them from all points and aspects and also because they are so common you can fill up your base with these and so that is going to complicate the life of anyone wanting to raid your base they're gonna have to fight some really uh heavily armored thralls that have a lot of hp and so there is another perk there with these guys as well and of course the same thing applies to the purges Okay, so with all that out of the way, let's go to Sepamaru where the captain spawns. And I showed you the location on the map. Now, he spawns somewhere around the uh, altar set. Uh, over here, there's a thing, if I can find it, where you can learn an emote. Might as well show that off if I'm in this direction. It's a bit difficult to see. It's like a little note in the sand. And easily, there it is. So if you interact with this, you learn the bear hug emote. So he'll spawn next to this altar. Now he does walk around. And as I said, there's only one of them at any given time. He looks kind of like this Stygian armor uh, fighter right there. So he'll wear about the same armor. So let's see if we can get... Oh, there we go. There's the captain. So you want to knock this guy out. As you can see, he does have a patrol path. And there is only one of these guys at any one given time. Once you've knocked him out, unofficial servers... There is a, I think if I'm not mistaken, a 30 minute respawn timer or something of the sorts. I have it set to double on my server just because. So we've got these guys over here. Um, so that would be the captain. Now obviously for me he comes in the second place simply because I'm keeping into consideration the official servers and the fact that many people might want to get the captain because he has more HP. So next up we're going to be looking for the Sumerian Berserker. Now he spawns in the Mounds of the Dead and uh, Stargaze Cliff or something like that. I probably completely butchered that name but I'll show both locations as well. We're going to be looking through the village to see if we can find ourselves a Sumerian Berserker. Now I've been here several times and I've only seen him once and I actually killed him but uh, I've actually tried it before the video. I haven't been looking. Now obviously this is in single player so every time you do get out of render distance different thralls will spawn in so that's the way single player seems to work. So we'll be looking for a Sumerian Berserker if we can find one. Uh, Definitely stronger than the um, Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker. But let's just see how common these guys are. Uh, I'm going to be going through this village as quick as I can. So there is a chance of me missing on them. I'm going to try and be as thorough as I can. Try and make sure that I don't miss out on the Sumerian Berserker if he's here. I'm going to be looking uh, around every nook and cranny to show you guys what this village looks like. Again, to find a Sumerian Berserker, which is, I think, one or maybe two may spawn in this location. You'll have to go through the entire village to kill, and already, as you can see, we haven't seen one as of yet. So you'll need to come in this place prepared and ready to kill the village, pretty much, to get to the uh, location, or have a possibility of 
finding that Sumerian Berserker. Already complicated the task with that. So we've got fighter right there. I'm going to go and look in that direction. There's normally some NPCs right here. So we've got fighters. We've got fighters. Taskmaster. Fighter. Nope. I'm not even going to continue looking at the uh, the bearer. I was going to call it a berserker, but yeah, it's a bearer. There's no point. We know if it's got a backpack on its back or whatever that thing is. It's not what we're looking for. So we've got fighter, archer. Let's see, what else? So we've already gone through half of the village. Have not yet seen a berserker. Uh, some people said it was a common NPC that you can find. End tame. Well... If it's that common, I'm not being very lucky. This is like the third or fourth attempt at trying to get one of these guys. And as you can see, we're not really getting it. So that's why I'm not really counted it as a must-have thrall. There's that book over there if you want to learn some new cooking skills. we got this guy over here, so that's a fighter. I'm going to try and be as thorough as I can. Just getting my bearings here. But also, I don't want to make this video longer than necessary. So, I will be going through this place a bit fast as there are two locations. So, this is one of the locations where the Sumerian Berserker is meant to spawn. And as you see and have seen up to this moment, we haven't yet seen one. So, okay, Sumerian Fighter, Fighter, Archer. There's a book there, if you want to do some reading. Let's have a look inside. So if they're next to a crafting station, chances are that they are crafters. If they are in or using the crafting station, then they are a crafter, so we're not even going to consider that. So this is one of the locations. I think that's pretty much it for this place. Oh, there's two more right there. So let's be really thorough. One of them is a performer, the other one is an entertainer. So, uh, the performer, I meant Archer, the other one is an entertainer, whatever. But, as you can see, we've not really found what we're looking for. And so, if this would have been a uh, full run, me trying to get the Sumerian Berserker, I would have gone through the entire village without any luck. Now, there's that mound over there, or that building over there. That's not part of the Mounds of the Dead. That's a separate thing in its own. And so this is basically what you'll have to go through in order to find one. So for those that said that this guy is common and everywhere and all that, because there's been quite a few people saying that, well, that's how common these guys are. Next up is this location over here. This is another uh, reported location for the Sumerian Berserker 2 spawn. Again, entertainer and another thrall that we don't really want. So next up, just going to quickly show you the locations for the Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers just to point out how easy and how common these guys are. So you can fill out your base and have it really well defended by these creatures, by these NPCs, because they are pretty much everywhere. So we've got a Treasure Hunter uh, Relic Seeker right there. Uh, there's another one right there. So there's a total of three in this specific location. You can slow down or pause the video if you want to go to these locations at any given time. So we are on location number two. This one should have another three to four of these guys. So we've got one there. There should be one in that corner, but it's not yet spawned in. One here. And let's see if this guy spawns in. There should be one. Oh, there we go. There's another one right there. And there should be a boss with another one. So this one has four of these guys that you can knock out. Obviously, you'll need to build your Wheel of Pain somewhere around the outer skirt of the unnamed city. So this is where this other location is. So let me just change the, the marker. I did go through the markers, but this one I missed out. So this is another location for the... Um, Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers. This one again has four. So there's one right there, another one right there. Do bear in mind there is a mini boss that you will have to go through. But again, as you see, four that you can obtain from this location. This one, if I remember, has three. And I think the last one also has three, but I might be wrong. Hold on, let's wait for things to load in. 
Okay, just getting my bearings. This one always has me confused. Yeah, okay, there we go. So there's one right here, another one right there, and one close to the wall. So three uh, Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers right here. As you can see, these guys are ridiculously common. You saw the amount of HP that they come with. And so that's why I still think they're the best, simply because of how common they are. And you can fill out your base with these guys. You can take them on your adventures with you. And obviously, if you can, get the captain, then get the captain. There might just be competition for the captain. Uh, obviously, the captain is in a bit of a populated area as well. So once you attack the relic hunters in Sepamaru, you'll end up having to fight quite a few. Do be careful not to kill the captain or maybe just follow him until he kind of comes out of the village or the, the, the place and then try and take him out. And as I said, for the uh, NPCs that you can find in the Well of Skelos, that's a bit more difficult. You need to be more prepared. You need to uh, have the appropriate armor to deal with the heat and food and stuff. Uh, you'll also have a hard time trying to get one of the named thralls from that location. If you can, then do that. I mean, I take my hat off to you. I've been after one of these guys for some time now. But if you get a chance, then hey, you, you know, you've got it. But then again, trying to get a decent amount of these guys to fill up your base so that your base is well defended. Well, that's kind of a different story. Don't get me wrong. They are more powerful than the unnamed uh, thralls. So a tier 4 thrall will always be better than a tier 3. That's just the way it is. That's why it's a tier 4. But I'm looking at it from the perspective of how easy they are to get, how effective they are. And what you can use them for. You know, and as a tank, these are, you know, the go to sort of thrall from my perspective, especially for those starting out in the game that want to have their base defenses set up really early on. Now, of course, this is all subjective because this is my personal opinion based on the criteria that I've mentioned throughout this video several times. And. You know, everybody's entitled to have their own opinions. There will be people who have been playing the game for a while who have better thralls, and that's fair dues to them. I congratulate them for that. And so my guides are always aimed at helping new players. So do bear that in mind. Everything I put in a guide will always be aimed at new players. Even though I may be going through the end game content, I will always keep in mind the new players to the game. And so I'll always find solutions and look for solutions that bears in mind that group of players. This is and has always been a thing on my channel. Yes, I do want to access and help people access the end game content, but I also want it to be easy for those new to the game to be able to access that content. So I always design my guides in that specific manner. That is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new content. And, until next time, stay safe, folks.